In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four steps jigsaw puzzle uh, slide design in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works when I click the first jigsaw puzzle comes uh, with uh, the icon. And then you can add the option number one, option the title and the detailed text. When I click with a different color, the second option comes, then the third option and the fourth option. And if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link i have used office 2019 to do this if you are using the older version like 2007 or 2010 then some features may not be available so i highly recommend you to use the latest version of powerpoint so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the rectangles, I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle. Draw the rounded corner rectangle depending on your requirement. Shape outline, make it no outline. And if you like to have less curve, you can see the small orange point. You can just drag this outside. And then go to align center, align middle. Then I'm going to cut this into four pieces. For that, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle in the center you can see here you can give some different color shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then rotate it and you can increase the size you can see here i can increase the size and then align center align middle now i'm going to select all the shapes by pressing ctrl a you can see here all got selected go to shape format merge shape and select the fragment now once i do this one you can see here i've got four different parts so now what i'm going to do is the center one i'm just going to select with the help of the mouse and then press the delete button and here also select this one and press the delete button so you can see here i've got four different boxes here or the rectangles and then go to insert shapes I'm going to select the rectangle rounded corner again. You can see here and make it more curve, something like this. And shape outline, make it no outline. And press Ctrl D to duplicate this one. And you can give some different color for the time being. And I'm going to place it exactly on top of this one. Or you can select both of these, align center, align middle and then press Ctrl G to group it for the time being. Later on, I'm going to ungroup this. So this is the one. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. One will come here and two will come on the vertical. Press Ctrl D and rotate it. One will come here. Press Ctrl D, another will come here. All right, like this. Now I'm going to select by help of uh, holding the Shift key. I've selected this rounded corner rectangle right mouse click group ungroup it now it's all ungroup you can see here now what we need to do is we need to uh, some of the shapes i need to merge it or uh, union it and some i have to uh, do uh, uh, this one subtract it okay first of all let me just do this one so first of all i'm selecting this shape and this shape by holding shift key okay shape format merge shape union all right so you can see here i got a shape something like this all right and then i'm selecting this shape and this shape i'm going to make it subtract so you can see here or i can just do one thing let me just select this one and this one merge shape let me just do the subtract you can see here subtract becomes like this then i can give some different colors so that you can understand what exactly i'm trying to do and for this also i'm going to give some different color all right now let's do the same thing here now for this i'm going to select this one and this one merge shape i'm going to make it a union all right and then this one and this one i'm going to make it as a subtract all right so it looks like this you can see here and this one let me just give some different color now all right now let me just do the same thing here this one plus this one i'm going to give a union all right and this and this i'm going to make it a subtract so 
this shape becomes like this so now this one and this one i'm going to union it so just a minute first of all let me just uh, select this and this make it a union and this and this i'm going to subtract it so you can see here i end up getting shape something like this can you see here all right now let me just add one more shape go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the right triangle draw the right triangle like this shape outline make it no outline and you can rotate it you can see here different different rotate options are there so i'm going to select the flip vertical and rotate it and put it here if you want you can increase the size also and then make sure that i'm going to align it something like this then i'm going to select this shape and this shape merge shape i'm going to make it union so we got a shape something like this now depending on your requirement you can just choose any color of your choice or you can give some a uh, gradient fill as well so for this i'm going to use this color and here i'm going to use some dark and here i'm going to use some turquoise color or teal color all right let me just remove these guides all right and if you want you can just select all or you can give uh, individually also some uh, 3d effect if required if not you can just leave it as it is then go to insert shapes select the basic shape uh, the oval shape here and i'm going to give a uh, shadow effect shape outline no outline shape fill make it black then right mouse click go to format shape under fill increase the transparency level and then go to the effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here like this all right now once this is done what you can do is you can give all this select all this and you can give a white outline also if you want you can see here the outline and then i can go to the lines and increase the width also like this you can increase the width now once this is done you can add some uh, icons to it for that go to insert icons and just select any icons of your choice so i'm just randomly i'm just selecting few icons here click insert and here if you want you can reduce the size maybe 0.6 it's okay i believe then i'm going to put one by one all right and then i'm going to choose oh sorry select this one graphic fill make it white so once this is done you can group this one by holding the shift key press ctrl g to group it this and this ctrl g this and this control g this will help us uh, in making the animation okay so once you group that one now it's time to add some detailed text for that go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose this free form shape click here one here and one more here straight line and double click all right and then if you want you can give the width somewhat bigger one and you can just change the color to the same color what we have used press ctrl d to duplicate and here i'm just going to rotate it flip vertical and put it here change the color to the matching with the background press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side and i can just rotate it flip horizontal and i can just put it like this and the color i'm going to use the teal color all right and then press ctrl d i can bring it here if you want you can just rotate like this and then this will be this color which is the dark yellow all right so once this is done you go to insert text box you can add option make it bold press ctrl d to duplicate again ctrl d bring it here ctrl d and one more here 
and then go to insert text box i'm going to type number one option here option one bold increase the size and the same color as the background maybe you can make it right align press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here duplicate and then this time i'm making a left align ctrl d you can see here so this is one this is two this is three and this is the option four then you can go to insert text box you can add detail text here Control D. All right, like this. And if you want to change the background to any uh, gradient fill background, you can just choose the gradient fill background. So once this is done, you can do the animation part. Animation part, it's very simple. Uh, you can just choose any animation of your choice. For example, let me just go to the animation, enable the animation pane. I'm going to choose the first one and I'm going to use a fly in fly in maybe I'm going to make it from top it comes like this you can see here and then for this I'm going to use a wipe effect and this one should happen from right and this should happen after previous and then I'm going to choose this text add animation more entrance effects and stretch click ok and this should happen after previous so if you see here it comes like this now it's easy for me i'm going to choose the animation painter now instead of top it should come from bottom like this then this same thing no changes here and here double click the animation painter for this this and for this all right now if i play it comes like this you can see here now the same thing goes here for the third all right if you want you can make it from uh, right it comes like this you can see here and then the same thing you can just apply it for this instead of right make it left and then double click the animation painter select these things here and then the last one if you want make it from the top right left like this okay and then the same thing and double click this select this one this one and this one and press the escape key now let me just play comes like this two three and four and this also this effect also you can give some fade and this should happen after previous so you can see here with the simple animation we have completed the the jigsaw puzzle uh, design in powerpoint